There are always mixed feelings when we mention NASA. While most people would feel totally indifferent to some facts, others might feel a sense of pride and achievement. However, we can't fail to give it the credit it deserves. NASA has done some pretty amazing things, which really wouldn't have been possible a century ago. However, even with all this, there are some facts that they would want the public to forget sooner rather than later. Or maybe they don't want us to know what really happens in space. That's why throughout this video, we want to highlight the five secret linked videos NASA doesn't want you to see. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Multicolored Objects on the International Space Station Although not everyone agrees it's a UFO sighting, there are several users on the internet who argue, after having seen this video, that they could be aliens. It's no secret to anyone that the International Space Station, while making live transmissions of space captures, has censored any number of shots or recordings. Proof of this is the multicolored object we'll show you next. During the month of November 2016, NASA suddenly cut the live broadcast. Nobody knows why they did this, but it's presumed it was to protect humanity from something really strange and mysterious. The personnel who were on duty in the surveillance cameras realized there was an alleged UFO floating in front of them. The object, which can be seen in the images, seems to be the ship of an alien. Immediately, the screen turned blue and nothing could be seen. Many of you would wonder, why does NASA hide these images from us? What happens in the outside world? Is humanity in danger? We don't know. We only have the suspicious and colorful object appeared on the right side of the space station as proof. It is not a secret to anybody that this organization often intentionally misses a few details in live images. Some are sure this thing could be space junk or meteorites. There are even several internet users who argue it's rather an object of the space agency itself. It's presumed that it's similar to Orion 3 of Stanley Kubrick's well-known 2001 film, A Space Odyssey, although many claim this isn't the case. The movements made by this strange object are completely different from those made by space waste. But the questions remain. Why does NASA cut the images? Why don't they want us to see the truth? Number 4. Filming of Apollo 11 Everyone knows what Apollo 11 is, but for those who don't, this was a manned space mission from the United States whose goal was to get a man to walk on the surface of the moon. The crew was Commander Neil Armstrong, Edwin Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Later, this historic milestone became a reality on July 21st, 1969. This footage was transmitted to the entire planet from the facilities of the Parks Observatory in Australia. Initially, the moonwalk was to be retransmitted from the signal that reached the Goldstone Tracking Station in California, United States, which belongs to the Deep Space Network. But since the aforementioned had a bad reception, it was decided to use the signal of the Honeysuckle Creek Station near Canberra. This one broadcasted the first minutes of the moonwalk. After this, the signal of the observatory parks was used again during the rest of the lunar walk. The rest of the story? We all know it. Neil says, I'm at the foot of the stairs. The legs of the ship are buried in the surface at only about one to two inches. Although the surface seems to be very grainy when you approach it, it's almost like dust. The mass of the soil is very thin. I'm going to step outside the ship. While he describes absolutely everything he's seeing and ends with the famous phrase, this is a small step for man, and a giant leap for mankind, something unprecedented happens. At the moment when the signal transmission changes from one channel to another, something strange appeared. An ultimate proof of aliens was revealed, something that NASA doesn't want you to see. During those two minutes of silence, the crew members witnessed a UFO sighting, as you see in these images. This is a recording of the 16-minute video, which they left out. In it, we can observe as if a thin subject walked towards where the astronauts are. Afterwards, he bends down and cuts the video. This was sent to the government of the United States to initiate further investigations and start digging for everything related to the issue. But for some reason, they try to hide it. Number 3. The Black Knight The Black Knight is a space object which orbits around the entire mass of planet Earth. It has generated a lot of discussions around it. The scientific community tries to hide these images appearing in our spot number 3, and they assure with conviction it's space junk, a thermal protection accidentally detached during the STS-88 mission from the space shuttle. But many say this is an alien satellite. It's believed to be 13,000 years old orbiting the planet. According to Donald Kehoe, during a statement, he said the United States Air Force reported two satellites near the Earth. No one believed him and even argued it was cheap advertising for his ufology book at this time. But in February of 1960, the Time magazine reported the Navy had detected a dark object and that, in addition, they had strong suspicions it was a spy satellite in the orbit of the Soviet Union. However, a follow-up article confirmed the object was from the remains of the Discoverer 8 satellite of the Air Force, which was lost. Then we wonder, what is this? NASA, please make up your mind. Is it the shuttle or the satellite? They could at least agree on the lies they plan to tell us. In fact, if this object were really a satellite outside its orbit or part of the shuttle, 
it would have crossed over so fast the astronauts couldn't have photographed it. What we know for sure is that you can't put a band-aid on a bullet hole, and these captured images are a proof of it. They show this object floating close to the Earth. The most curious thing is that it performs movements out of the ordinary. It doesn't act like other space waste, which has been seen in several videos. Many people maintain the theory that this alien device is intended to monitor the human race. Number 2. Three UFOs We continue with the usual interruptions of NASA transmissions. While many say it's only a common connection problem, it's really an attempt to hide the alien evidence and that's why this organization doesn't want you to see these images. This seemed to be, once again, a beautiful view of space, as it's seen in many of the live streaming on the internet that NASA used to show from its International Space Station. However, something mysterious happened. During the past June 21st, they interrupted the transmission after three lights appeared getting away from the Earth's atmosphere. Next, the only thing that came out was a notice saying, please wait, the high-definition Earth vision experiment is altering the cameras or we're experiencing a temporary loss of signal with the International Space Station, whose purpose didn't allow internet users to continue watching what was being sent from space. Once the video was published, which gives evidence of what happens in outer space, Several comments and theories about this topic were born. Most of them point out that the three floating lights, which can be seen in the video and can't be identified, would be three alien spaceships left in space near the Earth. The truth isn't known, but for many, it's a strange thing NASA has interrupted the live video or that ironically the signal had been down just after these three surprising lights showed up. Why don't they tell us the truth? If they make public what happens outside, would it produce any chaos? Or they simply don't want to tell us what is about to happen? Could it be that only the most powerful elites are going to be saved from a possible alien invasion and the most important governments have made shelters and space stations to save themselves and nobody else? Is that why NASA doesn't want us to know anything about these secret videos? Too many questions about these blunt images, don't you think? Number 1. The Tether Incident Many times, the space agencies, and especially NASA, carry out very rare projects and programs which tend to be experimental. Most of the time, they don't make them public. But when they aren't so successful at this, it's because they're usually a state secret. In 1996, a NASA pilot program called the Tether Experiment was launched in a latitude close to the northeast of Africa. There, the space base of Columbia launched a huge apparatus 18 kilometers long. The project was to put into orbit this huge machine to see if it was capable of absorbing the energy emitted by the planet's magnetic field, the same field that protects us from cosmic radiation and afterwards transform it into electricity for future space operations. However, something went wrong. The colossal machine broke in two. One part fell into the Earth and the other remained floating in space. So, the experiment failed. As a result of the misfortune, the cameras began to capture the presence of thousands of unidentified flying objects appearing near the machine, a phenomena that really escapes our way of thinking. Something really strange if you think about it. Would these devices be generating these objects, or would they be UFOs present in space? Of course, the organization was recording everything that was happening, since the project began until the incident. What they saw was something extremely shocking. They never expected to see something similar. Unidentified flying objects appeared behind the machine. They had very different shapes, even a very strange texture, which made them look a little transparent. They all had something in common. They had a circular center and a line, which didn't allow them to complete themselves. They also emitted light and blinked constantly. At the same time, they followed some quite strange courses, which indicated they weren't pieces of equipment launched into space. NASA insisted on repeated opportunities that it was ice crystals, but this is impossible since these entities made extremely abrupt movements and moved from one place to another, as if they had a life of their own. They even seemed to mingle with each other and divide into several spheres. At the same time, the light these entities were emitting appeared to be light patterns, as if they were communicating with each other, something they wouldn't do if they were wastes of space junk and ice crystals. It has been speculated that this machine didn't break, but that these alien beings broke it to activate it and feed on that energy coming from the device. It's said that by activating this machine and launching it into space, it could have attracted these aliens and as a consequence, the failure of the experiment. In fact, the specialists who are in charge of the investigations referring to UFOs assure they're dealing with Kendras, a type of Martians that opens interdimensional portals. Could it be that we're in danger and NASA doesn't want to tell us? Is the human race on the way to becoming extinct? All right, Top Fivers, if you haven't already, make sure to visit our other channel, The Brilliant, for even more interesting list videos that'll blow your mind. But I'm warning you, the videos over on The Brilliant are extremely addicting to watch as well. There'll be a link in the description to the channel, so make sure to come and visit us. Or you can go to our latest video popping up on screen right now. Oh, and have you visited thefinestpost.com to enjoy the most amazing articles you'll ever get to read? If not, click the link in the description.
Anyway, see you soon.